Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this uh, topic, rate, ratio, proportion, and uh, percentages. So these are topic of many concepts in one. So for this lesson, we look at increasing ratios. That is a concept under ratios. And we are going to see what that means. What, what does it mean to talk about an increasing ratio? And of course, we have few questions involving that. A uh, few questions involving increasing ratios and at the end of the lesson we'll give you some assignment uh, some questions in the form of assignment to help you practice and just to help you gauge on your understanding of the concept as discussed through this lesson so what does it mean to talk about ratio so i mean increasing ratio so to increase a quantity in a given ratio we express the ratio as a fraction and multiply it by by the quantity so if the ratio of a new quantity to an old quantity can be expressed as an improper fraction, then the new quantity is greater than the old quantity, you see. So uh, that is what an increasing ratio is all about. You know, the given ratio here, there is the given ratio. And then you try to, sorry, so we have... Uh, So you have the given ratio here, and then in the process of trying to express it as a fraction, you end up with an improper fraction. You see, that means then that the new quantity is greater. You know, the new quantity is greater. So it means this value here, uh, which is the original quantity, should be less than the value we are trying to calculate. You know, this will help you tell whether you are right in the process of trying to find the answer or possibly there are issues with the answer that you've gotten so you will express this as a uh, an improper fraction and then you uh, you in, a, in the process of trying to express it as a fraction you end up with a, an improper fraction then you know our new, the value we are trying to calculate should be greater than this for example the rule is express the given ratio as a fraction and then multiply it by this value that we have so it means new uh, new quantity here should be 5 over 4 you know it's just the first one divided by the second one and then you multiply by 20 and this is going to be 4 here 1 4 there 5 times so 5 by 5 is 25 so you can see our new value which is 25 is greater than the original value so the rule is express the ratio as a fraction and as you express this ratio as a fraction, you start with the first value here, divided by the second one here. So 5 over 4 times 20 to give us 25. And 25 is greater. So this is the new value. You see, this is the new value. So take note how we are expressing the, the ratio of... Uh, we're expressing these two. You know, when you want to express this, because some other instance you'll be asked to express them. You express, get this ratio, find the ratio. So the ratio should be the new quantity to the old quantity. You see, so this actually is supposed to be the ratio is 25 is to is to 4. So we have 5 is to 5. I mean, I mean 25 is to 20. So that we have 5 is to is to 4. You see that. So as you find the ratio, you express the new quantity to the old quantity. And of course, as you find the new the new value it's supposed to be expressing the the ratio given as a fraction and then you multiply by the original quantity to give this value that relationship will help you find you know what the new quantity is or what the old quantity is you see so if you are to look for the new quantity then you take this four is the final one so four divided by five and then you multiply by this it will still give you the original one but now that you are looking for this, it is this 5 divided by 4, and then you multiply by the, by the original value to give us the final value, you know. So take note of that. Uh, as you can see. So let's see. The price of a pen is adjusted in the ratio. So this ratio is ratio of, of new to old. So if the original price was 50, what is the new price? So again... The approach is the same. So new price 
is going to be 5 all over, I mean, sorry, 6 all over 5, you multiply by 50. So 5 goes there, 1, 5 goes there, 10 times. 10 by 6 is 60. So the new price is 60 shillings. You see? Again, if you are to find the ratio, it will be the ratio of what? 60 to 50. The new price to the old price. So you see, trying to explain what increasing ratio is all about, you see. So increasing ratio. So uh, again, this is going to be both of them. You can simplify. Remember, ratios can be simplified just like fractions. So you divide both of them by a common factor like 10. You give us 6 is to 5. So you can see. An increasing ratio looks like this, where the first number here is greater compared to the second one. But that is an example of an increasing ratio. You know. So let's see. So another example is here, where we are trying to increase 20 in the ratio of 3 to 2. So we do the same thing. 3. So... In this case, we'll talk of new value or new quantity. So new value should be equal to 3 out of 2, you multiply by 20. So 2 here, 1, 2 there, 10 times. So 10 by 3 is 30. So if you increase 20 in the ratio of 3 to 2, the value you'll obtain is 30. See, so that's simple. Again, how we arrived at this ratio, so that you see how you're getting the, the increasing ratio. So we end up with uh, the new value too. So the new value is 32. The old value, which is 20. Both of them are divisible by 10. So this is 20. So both of them are divisible by 10. So this is 3 is to 3 is to 2. So you see, by increasing ratios, the first value here is the first value is, is, is greater. Increasing. So it's a reverse of what you would expect to see. So it is the first value is greater compared to, see this one here, see this. So increasing ratios, you see. So new value, the new value of 20, we are increasing the ratio of 3 to 2, we get this. So it's basically 3 over 2 multiplied by, by 20 to give us 30. So we have another one here, increase the number 600 in the ratio of 6. To four. So new number. So this is going to be six over four. You multiply by six hundred. See. So again, four here, one, four there, fifteen, one hundred and fifty. So uh, we have one fifty by six. So zero. 0 carry 3, 9. So 0, 6 by 5 is uh, 30. So 0 carry 3, 6 by 1 is 6 plus 3 is 9. It means our answer here is uh, going to be 900. So if you increase 600 in the ratio of 6 is to 4, then you end up with that uh, value 900. So again, we have uh, the price of a sans book is increased from 400 to 420. So we are supposed to find the increase ratio. So now that we know what increase ratio is and how we find it, so we know increase ratio. Is given by. So in this case, we are talking about price, so we'll do new price. To old price. Now that we know what it is, so new price to old to old price. So our new price is uh, 420, because this value increased from 400 to 420. So our new price is 420. So to 400. So new price to old price. And so this is going to give us okay. First of all, maybe as first of all, divide by 10 to give me 42. So 420 divided by 10 is 42. 400 divided by 10 is 40. So each of them is still divisible by 2. So we have 21 is to, is to 20. So this is the increase ratio. Again, you can see 21 is greater compared to 
to 20. So this again, increase ratio. So now you should be having an idea of what increase ratio is all about, some of the special features that you need to see to know that this is an, in, an increase ratio. And possibly later on, as we talk about decrease ratios, you'll be able to see how the values change, you know, when they are increased in a particular ratio, you know. So a few questions are here to help you practice, just to help gauge on your understanding of the concept as, as discussed through the lesson. So that is all for now. Till next time, goodbye.